So let us pray. Lord, there are many in our hearts and minds this morning who we know could do with some of your Christmas joy. That joy of that baby that came down to be the saviour for us all. Lord, we pray for the agencies, the shops, the groups and the local community who are trying to support people on the Western Isles who are maybe feeling isolated, who are maybe feeling lonely, who are maybe struggling at this time, Lord. May we be an outward expression of this Christmas joy. May we show love to each one of them. And Lord, as we enter this Christmas period, we want to take time to thank you for sending your son to be born as a baby, to become our saviour, so that he can bring peace into our hearts of those that believe and joy to those that find their hope in him. Lord, we know that only in him is true peace and lasting joy to be found. And as we sing our Christmas carols at home, in our heads and choruses this Christmas season, we pray that true joy would come into the world and that many would find peace. In Jesus' name we pray all these things. Amen. As I say, if you have any specific prayer requests, please just let us know. Um, it can be anonymously, you can um, just leave us a little note posted to the door. And we can just make sure that we pray for each other. That's important, isn't it? That we pray for names. You can just email us a name. I don't need to know the context, but it's good that we can pray for each other. Um, and what a privilege we have to do that. So this Sunday, we're taking part in our toy service. And I see some people have brought little bags along, which is very exciting today. And uh, we're going to be donating to our Christmas present appeal, which has been an incredible... Um, feast this Christmas with COVID going on as well. So just take a look at this short clip. <laughs> 